today we are going to uh, today we are going to release the answers of IOQJS part 1 2021 to 2022 so the first question uh, of paper code 51 so the first question is which of the following is not a function of mature RBCs first option is help in classifying blood in different blood groups second is help in transport of gases third is synthesis of immunoglobins fourth is synthesis and fourth is help in maintaining acid base balance in body so the correct option is option number C then our second question is in which of the following classes of vertebrates there are groups of animals without limbs so the so uh, the first option is fish reptiles mammals second option is reptiles only third option is reptiles and amphibians fourth option is amphibians only so the uh, correct option is reptiles and amphibians then the third question which of the following groups have only one pair of wings first option honeybee beetle ant second option butterfly housefly fruit fly third option dragonfly butterfly fruit fly fourth option housefly fruit fly moss and mosquito so the correct option is option number d that is housefly fruit fly and mosquito then for, then the fourth question during an expedition to planet imagitica scientists analyzed the genetic material of the organisms found there and noted the following features amount of purines and pyrimidines is unequal absence of thymine unstable genetic material with high frequency of mutation rapid degradation at ph above 12 from the data what genetic material might the imagitica inhabitants contains so uh, the first option is ssdna second option is dsdna third option is ssrna fourth option is dsr DRNA, uh, dsrna so the correct option is option number c that is ssrna then the fifth question which of the following is most likely to show error in chima first option is leaf base of mango second option is petiole of water hyacinth third option is set of mosses then uh, fourth option is stem of opuntia so obviously the answer is petiole of water hyacinth then our next question is given below are three statements about brafers brafers are are lower plants with body differentiated into root stems and leaves second option is brafers are devoid of xylem and phloem third option is brafers require water for completion of the life cycle then which of the following statements is are true with respect to brafers first option is two only second option is one and two third option is one and three fourth option is two and three so the answer is d option that is two and three then the next question question number seven carbon fixation in most of the succulent plants takes place through which pathway first option is calvin cycle second option is glycolate pathway third option is crassulation acid metabolism pathway also known as cam pathway d option is hatch and slack pathway so the option correct option is option number c that is cam pathway then eighth option then eighth question if a flower is large wide mouthed white showing anthesis after sunset and emitting fruity or musky fragrance it is most likely to be pollinated by first option is birds second option is bats third option is insects and fourth option is baboons so the answer is bats then our next question coal is a common fossil fuel it contains 0.2 to 5 percent sulfur which on burning produces a gas responsible for acid rain the number of atoms in one mole of this gas is so the first option is 6.02 into 10 power 23 second option is 1.81 into 10 power 23 third option is 1.81 into 10 power 24 and fourth option is 1.21 into 10 power 24 so the correct answer is 1.81 into 10 power 24 that is option number c then the 10th question is the stomach fluid in human consists of hcl casein and nacl the stomach fluid is highly acidic and plays an important role in the digestion of food as well as killing of bacteria the increased acidity may lead to abdominal pain nausea bloating and heartburn such a patient is prescribed and acid tablet which mainly contains aluminium hydroxide if the concentrations of hcl casein and nacl are 0 0.01 molar molarity each and the stomach fluid volume is 2 liter the amount of aloh 3 aluminium hydroxide required to neutralize the fluid will be so the correct option is option number a that is 0 0.52 grams then our level Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So our 11th question was a 0 0.5 gram mixture of calcium carbonate and calcium oxide was strongly heated to produce a non-combustible gas. If the weight of the residue obtained on heating is found to be 0 0.434 grams, the percentage of calcium oxide in the mixture is. 
So the correct answer is option number A. That is seventy percent. Then our twelfth question. Arrange the following in increasing order of their metallic character: sodium, carbon, oxygen, lithium, beryllium. So the first, so our correct option is option number C. That is oxygen less than carbon, carbon less than beryllium, beryllium less than lithium, and lithium less than sodium. Then our next question is a 50 ml of 0.1 m acetic acid solution is taken in a beaker and two wires are dipped in it as shown in the figure. When electrical supply is switched on, all the uh, on the bulb glows. To this solution, distilled water is added slowly till the volume doubles. During the addition of water, the intensity of the bulb. The correct the first option is remains unchanged. The second option is goes on decreasing. The third option is goes on increasing, and the fourth option is suddenly becomes zero. So the correct answer is goes on increasing. Then the fourteenth question: A compound acts when heating with aqueous solution produces a pungent gas that turns red litmus blue when an aqueous solution of X is treated with AgNO3 solution of white precipitate Y is obtained, which on keeping in sunlight turns grey, liberating pale yellowish green gas. The aqueous solution of compound X is slightly acidic. Then our uh, then the fifteenth question is equal masses of two gases among nitrogen, nitrogen oxide, oxygen, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide occupy same volume at HTP. These these two gases are so the correct option is nitrogen and carbon monoxide. When a solution Then our next question is sixteen question. When a solution and a pure solvent are separated by a semi-permeable membrane, the solution exerts a pressure on the membrane called as osmotic pressure. The osmotic pressure increases with increasing number of particles, ions, or molecules in the solution. If ten millimoles each of the sulfate salts of sodium, magnesium, and aluminium are dissolved in one liter of water in three different beakers leveled as PQ respectively, the osmotic pressure follows the order. So the correct option is B. That is R is greater than P. P is greater than Q. Then our next question is the axis of a coordinate system S two are inclined at an angle theta to those of another coordinate system S one. The origins of both the systems are coinciding. A particle P one at rest in system one star system S one starts from point minus two zero and travels along positive direction of X one axis with uniform acceleration of one point two five meter per second square for four second and stops. In system S two, particle P two starts from rest from the origin and travels for two seconds along positive direction of x axis, with uniform acceleration from the position square and stops. If the final distance between P one and P two is six meter, then the angle between plus y one axis and plus x two axis is. So the correct answer is one twenty six point eight degrees. Then our next question is. Question is the variation of a certain parameter z with variable u is given by the relation z is equal to a r by r plus u whole cube, where r and a are constants and the maximum value of u is very very less than r. Then to find r, a student plots a graph of variation of z against u. The graph is a so the correct option is a straight line with intercept a and slope minus three a by r. Then the next question is a submarine S one is parked at the depth two hundred meter in an ocean on Earth. Assume oceans existed on Earth on Mars. At about what depth a submarine S two has to be parked in the ocean so that S on Mars so that S two will experience the same pressure as that of S one. Acceleration due to gravity on Mars is three point seven meter per second square. Assume that sea water density on Earth and Mars is same. That is, rho is equal to one point zero three into ten power three kg per meter cube. So the correct answer, uh, correct option is option number C. That is five thirty meter. Then. Our next question is in an oscillating system, damping results in dissipation of the stored energy. The following figure shows the variation of displacement x with time t for an oscillating system. Which of the following statements best describes the physical phenomenon? This is the graph of x versus t. So the correct option is oscillatory motion of the object with damping such that time measurement was started when the system had maximum potential energy. Then the next question is in the adjacent circuit the galvanometer G does not show any deflection. If R is equal to two m, the current drawn from the cell is. So the correct option is uh, option A that is one ampere. This is the circuit. Our next question is gear is a mechanical system. 
used to transfer mechanical and rotatory motion from one mechanical system to another as shown in the figure below the driving wheel a drives the driving wheel b without slipping and thus forms a gear system the wheel a has 16 teeth and b has 24 teeth wheel b has a projection shown by white ring in figure 1 and also in the side view of figure 2 of radius 14 by 11 centimeters then this these are the figures this one then a long massless inextensible string can be wound or unwound over this circular projection. A mass arm is attached to the free end of this long string. If a wheel A makes 6 revolutions per second in the clockwise direction without slipping, then in half second the potential energy of the mass arm CGS unit is. So it increases by 16 mg's. That is our correct option is option number C. Then the third question is Canopus is the second brightest star in the night sky. It is about 300 light years away. The energy is produced inside the star through nuclear reactions. If we receive 5 to 10 power minus 8 watt per meter square energy from Canopus, how much mass does it lose per second? So the correct option is option number C that is 5.62 into 10 power 13 kg. Then the next question is an average human adult radiates about 100 watt energy mainly in infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum. 50 persons are sitting. 50 persons are sitting in a hall with an air conditioning system which is 50 percent efficient. How much electricity must be used to maintain temperature of the hall at 25 degree Celsius for 4 hours? So correct option is option number D that is 40 unit. So let's next question. Karte hai. Next question may more than one correct hai or pahla question hai given below are four statements about viruses which of the following statements are incorrect to yaha pe incorrect options ko nikalna hai to dekhi isme se charo ke charo option correct honge option hai option number a all known virus contain rna as the genetic material option number b during viral multiplication a complementary dna is produced in ribovirus Option number C, ribo, sorry, viruses are the smallest freely living cells found on the planet. Next, option number D, DNA containing viruses are more susceptible to mutations when compared to RNA containing viruses and hence so a very rapid evolution. So, charo ke charo option are the required options. Next question is question number 26. During a race, Ramesh was thrown off the horseback and suffered an injury in the front part of head. Upon throw examination, upon thorough examination, Ramesh was found to have injury to the front part of the head which of the following can be the possible outcomes so options are given uh, option number a and option number b are correct option uh, option number a trouble in speaking properly option number b inability to smell ye dono options correct hai next question hai question number 27 question number 27 mein kaha gaya hai ki which of the following molecules are primarily responsible for structural support and motility to dekhiye correct option hai option number a and b option number a hai actin option number b hai tubulin alpha Next question ki taraf move karte. Next question, question number 28. The types of bonding found in dry ice are to dry ice hum sabko pata hai ki dry ice hoti hai carbon dioxide jisko high pressure or uh, low temperature mein store kiya jata hai aur usme covalent bond hoti hai. To next question hai question number 29. इसमें वैंडरवर फोर्सेस भी पाई जाती है इसमें दोनों ऑप्शन है ऑप्शन नंबर ए जो कि कोवेलेंट एंड ऑप्शन नंबर डी वैंडरवर फोर्सेस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन है क्वेश्चन नंबर 29 द कंपाउंड्स दैट रेजेस द टेंपरेचर ऑफ वाटर ऑन डिसॉल्विंग इन इट आर तो देखिए इसमें ऑप्शन जो है जो सी ऑप्शन है वो ग्लूकोज है ग्लूकोज को पानी में मिलाएंगे तो ठंडा होती है बाकी जो तीनों ऑप्शन है वो एसिड एंड बेसिस है एमोनियम क्लोराइड जो कि एसिड है वो भी पानी का टेंपरेचर बढ़ाएगा पोटेशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड जो कि बेस है वो भी पानी का टेंपरेचर बढ़ाता है और डी ऑप्शन कंसंट्रेटेड 
ए सी एल ओ एसिड है जो कि पानी का टेम्परेचर बढ़ाती है तो इसमें ए बी और डी ऑप्शन सर करेक्ट ऑप्शन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन की तरफ मूव करते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सोप्स आर एंड डिटर्जेंट्स आर कॉमन एजेंट्स यूज इन लॉन्ड्री इंडस्ट्री दे आर लॉन्ग चेन हाइड्रोकार्बन विथ आयोनिक टर्मिनल्स ऑफ कैटायोनिक और एनायोनिक नेचर ए वन परसेंट वेट बाय वॉल्यूम सोप सॉल्यूशन एक्स एंड वन परसेंट वेट बाय वॉल्यूम डिटर्जेंट सॉल्यूशन वाई वेर प्रिपेयर्ड इन डिस्टिल्ड वाटर ईच ऑफ द सॉल्यूशंस वाज डिवाइडेड इन टू इक्वल पार्ट्स एंड लेबल्ड एज एक्स वन एक्स टू वाई वन एंड वाई टू वन ग्राम एन वाज एडेड टू एक्स वन एंड वाई वन ईच वाइल वन ग्राम कैल्शियम क्लोराइड वॉज एडेड टू एक्स टू एंड वाई टू ईच हुईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑब्जर्वेशन आर करेक्ट तो इसमें देखिए ऑप्शन नंबर जो बी है दैट इज ऑनली द करेक्ट ऑप्शन एंड दैट इज टेलिंग एक्स टू सोस स्लीमी पेसिपिटेटेड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन की तरफ मूव करते हैं थ्री मोर क्वेश्चन तो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन है क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन अकॉर्डिंग टू आइंस्टाइन थियोरी लाइट कैन बी एश्यूम टू बी इन एश्यूम टू बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ डिस्क्रीट एनर्जी पैकेट्स कॉल्ड फोटोन्स इन केस ऑफ लाइट ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी न्यू ईच फोटोन कैरीज एनर्जी ईज इक्वल टू एच न्यू इन ए सर्टेन सर्जिकल प्रोसीड्योर ए सर्जन यूजेस लेजर बीम ऑफ वेवलेंथ लेंथ सिक्स फिफ्टीन नैनोमीटर इन पल्सेस ऑफ थर्टी मिली सेकेंड ड्यूरेशन द एवरेज पावर ऑफ ईच पल्स इज जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स वाट हियर एच इज प्लैंक्स कॉन्स्टेंट देन यहाँ पे जो चारों के चारों ऑप्शन करेक्ट है देन ऑप्शन नंबर ए द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ दिस लेजर फोटोन इज फोर पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू ट्वेंटी थ्री और फोर्टीन हर्च करेक्ट ऑप्शन ऑप्शन नंबर बी द एनर्जी इन ईच पल्स इज वन पॉइंट वन इंटू ट्वेंटी थ्री पार सेवेंटीन इलेक्ट्रो वोल्ट करेक्ट ऑप्शन ऑप्शन नंबर सी एनर्जी ऑफ वन फोटोन इज थ्री पॉइंट वन इंटू ट्वेंटी थ्री और माइनस नाइनटीन जूल ऑल्सो करेक्ट ऑप्शन ऑप्शन नंबर डी नंबर ऑफ फोटोन्स इन ईच पल्स इज फाइव पॉइंट नाइन इंटू ट्वेंटी थ्री पार सिक्सटीन तो ये भी करेक्ट ऑप्शन है और नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी टू थर्टी टू में कहा गया है कि इन द फॉलोइंग सर्किट्स आर वन इज इक्वल टू सिक्स ओम आर टू इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व ओम भी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन वोल्ट द करेंट्स आई वन एंड आई टू फ्लो थ्रू द रेजिस्टेंसेस आर वन एंड आर टू रेस्पेक्टिवली डायग्राम भी आपको दिख रहा है तो ये जो यहाँ पे जो ऑप्शन है ऑप्शन नंबर ए बी सी आर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ऑप्शन नंबर ए पावर जेनरेटेड अक्रॉस आर वन इज फोर्टी टू पॉइंट सिक्स वाट ऑप्शन बी द रेशियो ऑफ आई वन बाई आई टू इज इक्वल टू टू ऑप्शन सी द टोटल करेंट ड्रॉन फ्रॉम द सेल इज फोर एम्पियर तो तीनों के तीनों ऑप्शन सर करेक्ट ऑप्शन चलिए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन की तरफ मूव करते हैं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी थ्री थर्टी थ्री जो कि लास्ट क्वेश्चन है और ये है रे ऑप्टिक्स से क्वेश्चन में कहा गया है कि एक ग्लास प्लेट ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म थिकनेस टी एंड रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स म्यू इज एज सोन इन द डायग्राम ए बी इज द इंसिडेंट रे एंड एफ जी इज द इमरजेंट रे दस ऑफ इंसिडेंस एंड रिफ्रैक्शन आर आई एंड आर respectively the perpendicular distance fc is equal to x between the incident and the emergent rays is called the lateral shift then <coughs> isme charo ke charo options correct hai option number a x is equal to t into sin i minus cos i into cos sin r divided by cos r option number b x depends on refractive index mu option number c x is independent of the wavelength lambda of light ऑप्शन नंबर डी मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इजिकल टू टी व्हेन आई इज क्लोज टू 90 डिग्री आई होप स्टूडेंट्स कि आज का वीडियो आपको बहुत ही अच्छा लगा और बहुत ही हेल्पफुल है तो अगर इसको अच्छा लगा तो इसको लाइक कीजिए चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए ताकि आप मोर एंड मोर क्वेश्चंस पा सके जो कि कम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स में आती है थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो गुड नाइट